Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. Get a first look at what's new and exciting online or on the go with Jackson Energy Authority. Get tips on ways to save energy, plus enjoy special deals on Facebook, Twitter, and our email newsletter. Go to jacksonenergy.com to get started. Today I'm back to making more commonly fine at the dinner table during the big game. I'm going to make guacamole and you're going to find this recipe very easy. Now guacamole, sometimes you can buy it store bought and it can be not so healthy. However, I wanted to show you a recipe that actually is pretty healthy. No, the chips aren't going to be so great for your body, but the guacamole itself is actually not bad. So what you want to start off with is the avocados, obviously. Um, this recipe makes about two cups of guacamole, so if you want more than that, use more, just double the recipe that I give you. So st we're going to start off with two avocados. Um, actually, I had already cut up some just for the sake of time, and I actually used about three to four very small ones. So either two large ones or three to four very small ones. So first you want to peel the avocado. So you take your knife, and I usually just make a, a slit right on the avocado's edge, and then very easily the edge peels back. Now it can be difficult to get an avocado from the store that's already ripe enough. Usually, um, sometimes I fail at this too, but you want to squeeze them if they're a little bit squishy, not too much, but just a little bit squishy, that usually means they're pretty ripe. Otherwise, if you're going to wait a few days to make it and you're going to the store early, get ones that are a little bit more hard so they have some time to ripen up. So if you take these and you peel them, usually it's very easy to peel if they're already ripe enough. So I'm going to, this one has a little bit of brown spots, and sometimes you'll get that. Um, avocados can be, it, the ripe ones can sometimes get a little bit brown on the edges. So you can just simply cut that out. I'm going to wipe off my fingers because it can be a very messy process, actually. So then you will, as you all know, there's a pit in the avocado. So you'll want to cut off the actual part of the guacamole. Get, get that pit out of there. And as you can see, this guacamole, is, this avocado, excuse me, is actually very ripe on the inside. So just a little bit brown on a little bit of the outside layer, but that's okay. You'd rather have it ripe than not ripe because I've made it where it's not very ripe and it doesn't taste very good. So once you get all of this cut off, you just want to simply chop up the rest of the guacamole. I'm sorry, I keep calling it guacamole. It's an avocado. Cut off the avocado. And then you will place it in a bowl. And as you can see, I've already done that here, just so we can save a little bit of time here. And what you want to do is you'll take a spoon, or sometimes you can take a, a wooden spoon or something like that, and you can just mash it up. I, I use just this regular metal spoon, and it works great. And then you have some nice, smooth avocado. So next, we have three other veggies that go in to the guacamole. And we have a green pepper, an onion, and a tomato. So um, e those are very easy to do. I'm sure you all have cut up many of these before for other recipes. We want to do about, um, probably, this is a, probably a medium-sized onion, but you'd only want to do about half of this. I mean, and you want to chop it very finely, because I don't know about you guys, but whenever I take a bite of guacamole. I don't want a massive chunk of onion along with it, but a little bit of taste of it is very nice. And you want to do about um, a very small tomato. This one's probably too big. Um, you'll probably want to cut up maybe about half of this, so about half a cup of tomato to put in there. 
And then as far as your green pepper goes, I mean, all of this is based on taste too. If you really, really like green pepper, go ahead and put more in there. Same thing with onion and the tomato. I personally really like onion, so sometimes I put a little bit more of that in there. Um, but you wanna go ahead and cut up the green onion. Usually about half a cup is good. Just make sure all of these things are very finely chopped, as, as small as you can get them. Um, so just make sure with the green onion when you cut into it, that I like to get all of these seeds out of there if you haven't cut up a green onion before. So I just like to go ahead and cut out the center of it um, and cut around to get those seeds out of there. So right before the show started, I went ahead and chopped up my onion and green, green pepper and my tomato. So if you want, you can measure them out a little bit um, to make it a little bit more even. However, you don't have to. So um, they say with an onion, use about a half cup. So if you want to measure it out, get a half cup in there. Go ahead and dump that in. They say with the green pepper, they say about a half cup. But I usually do a little bit less. I'm not as much of a green onion fan as some. So we'll go ahead and get that in there. I did a little bit less than a half a cup for myself and for the tomato, since tomatoes are a little bit bigger. They say usually around three-fourths of a cup. So, but again, these don't have to be exact. I mess around with these ratios all the time. So there we have that, and last but not least, we have, stir that all in there, and we just need a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and some onion, uh, well, excuse me, lemon juice. So we have half a teaspoon of pepper, so just get your pepper out, half a teaspoon, dump that in there. I am a salt fan, so sometimes I use a little bit more salt than the recipe says. However, I will use the correct amount for this. It's one teaspoon. And last but not least, you want your lemon juice. And one tablespoon of lemon juice. And dump that all in there. And all your ingredients are all of a sudden in. And you just have to mix it up. Serve it with some chips. I like the Tostitos Scoopables just because they make it very easiest. Um, to dip your guacamole and you are all set you have a healthy snack with lots of protein if you would like you may add bacon to it and it can make bacon guacamole and there you have it very easy healthy snack for the super bowl gig 1000 megabit speed now available to any e plus broadband internet customer this gig-enhanced infrastructure has the capacity to increase speeds in the future. E-Plus Broadband, what many interpreted as JA's entrance into cable television, was actually the foundation of an unparalleled communications infrastructure. Looking out for Jackson's economic and lifestyle future is all a part of JEA today. Steve Beverly's TV classics can cure what ails you. I watched and it got rid of my hemorrhoids. Staying awake at night? Just watch TV classics. My daughter watched and she went right to sleep. Do not watch Steve Beverly's TV classics if fights upset your stomach. Do not watch if high drama leads to emotional distress. And do not turn on TV 6 Saturday or Sunday at 7 if hillbillies give you a gallbladder attack. Ask your doctor if Steve Beverly's classics is right for you. 